Hi everyone, welcome on my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to make this cute little hippo. It's part of my doodle collection. I already made a bear and today I'm showing you how to make the hippo. I've been a little bit sick, so I'm sorry I won't show my face today, but I think it's all right. And as usual, it's an easy tutorial. I will show you step by step, by step round after round and everything. But if you prefer the PDF version, you can get it on my Etsy shop. I, I will put you the link right there. And also, if you want to make your clothes like a tutu, a tutu, a tutu, I don't know how to say, a ballerina tutu or a raincoat, I made a bunch of outfits available on my Etsy shop, so you can check it out. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always happy to answer every comment. So here I will tell you the list of supplies you need to make this hippo. If you want the links to purchase the supplies or similar yarns available in Europe, you have a link in the description. The use of different supplies from what's indicated may, may vary the final result. So that's quite important to, to have the same or similar supplies. You don't have to use the same brand of yarn, but the weight category has to be the same for a similar result. So for the hippo, I used Premier Basics Chenille Bright in color Fog, and it's a weight category Super Bulky, number six. So that's important that you choose a yarn that is super bulky to have a similar result. You can also use Berna Blanket in color pale gray that is pretty similar or on obi.com happy chunky double that is very similar as well if you live in europe and with this yarn i use the hook eight millimeter then you will need thin black cotton yarn or thin acrylic yarn it doesn't matter it just have to be thin in black and in gray so the black one are for the eyebrows and the gray one is just to sew, sew some pieces together then you will need darning needles. You can use regular darning needles, but I like using curved ones. It's, it makes it very easy to sew plushies and stuff. I only use curved ones, so that's my recommendation. Then you will need some stuffing. You will need two safety eyes, uh, 12 millimeter, a gray felt sheet. So that's not, you know, uh, it's an option because it's to make uh, patches under the feet and on the, on the body of the, of the hippo. So you don't have to do it, I just think that's cute. Then you will need sewing pins, like it's always useful, you know, mostly when you do the patches, I, I recommend to pin everything before sewing. Then you will need a lab counter as usual to not lose track of your rounds or your rows. Then you will need stitch markers and sewing clips. So as I said earlier, the links are in the description if you want to purchase directly uh, from, from my links, it's just easier for you. Some notes before we start the, vi the following video is a step-by-step -step tutorial to crochet my doodoo -doo hippo. You can get the written pattern on my Etsy shop if you want a PDF file, as well as the patterns to make the tutu and other clothes. I made like a raincoat as well, a little dress, so everything is on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description. And thank you so much for your support if you decide to purchase from me. The number in parentheses is the number of stitches to have at the end of the round or the row. My creations are crocheted using the yarn over technique and I work rounds in spiral. If sometimes the video goes too fast, you can slow it down in the YouTube reader settings. And as I said earlier, if you have any questions, please let me know. Let's get started. So let's start with the muzzle. You will need a hook 8 mm and we start with a matching ring and six single crochet in this ring. I always recommend you to close the ring little by little. Don't wait to be done with a six single crochet to close because sometimes it breaks the yarn. So my recommendation is to make one single crochet, close a little bit, one single crochet, close a little bit. So like that, it doesn't, it doesn't break at the end. Mm -hmm. 
then you will make six increases so one increase is two single crochet in the same stitch so if you make six of them in six stitches you will have 12 stitches at the end of the round Then for round number three, you will make three increases and three single crochet twice. So that will give you 18 stitches at the end of this round. Round four is three increases, six single crochet twice. That will give you 24 stitches. Then round five is three increases, nine single crochet twice. So that will give you 30 stitches at the end of the round. Round six is one single crochet in each stitch, so you don't need to increase anymore, so just one single crochet in each stitch. So round seven is we will start decreasing. So you make three decreases, nine single crochet twice that give you 24 stitches at the end of the round. So one decrease, you know, it's grabbing two stitches to make only one. Then round number eight, you will make four decreases, five single crochet, then four decreases and three single crochet. And you will have a total of 16 stitches at the end of this round.
So once you're done, you can cut the yarn and make an invisible finish. So to make an invis invisible finish, you just create a fake stitch to make it less visible. So you see here, I just create a fake stitch. Voila. So to create the nostrils, we will use about 13 inches or 33 centimeters of yarn for each of them. With a darning needle, we will pass the yarn back and forth in two stitches you will see in the video vertically several times to create a little bump. Once you are done, you can tie a knot in the back. Then we will make the little ears, so you start by making a magic ring and then six single crochet in the ring. Then for round number two, you will make one single crochet, one increase three times, and that will give you nine stitches at the end of this round. Then you will keep a long tail and you cut 
to make a classic finish so you just pass it through the loop to make a knot that's a classic finish then you will weave in the end from the magic ring so this end you see on the video so it's closer to the other end you see you pass it like under the stitches right here and then you will pinch the bottom of the ear to flatten it and then you can sew it to create the shape of the ear so you see just by pinching it you get a little cute uh, shape of a hippo ear Once you are done, you can repeat for the second ear because we need two of them. Then we are making the head of the hippo. So you start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then round two is six increases, so two single crochet in one stitch is an increase, so you make six of them. Then round number three is three increase, three single crochet twice, that will give you 18 stitches. Then round four is three increases, six single crochet twice, that will give you 24 stitches. Round number five is three increases, nine single crochet twice. You will have 30 stitches at the end of the round. Then we will mark some stitches. So place a thread on the seven single crochet. So you see I started from the stitch marker, so I counted seven. And one thread on the 24th. So these threads will help you to place the ears later. So that's why I place them before. Like that you have like, um, how do you say? Like you have um, help. <laughs> 
to place the ears later and like that you are not confused where to place them. Then from round 6 to round 10, we will make 5 rounds of 1 single crochet in each stitch. So you don't have anything to do, just single crochet. And after round 10, you will place a thread on the 15th single crochet and one on the 20th. 20th. <laughs> so I don't know if we say that. So on number 15 and number 20. So these threads will be useful to place the eyes later. Then we will make three rounds of one single crochet in each stitch, so from round 11 to round 13. Then round 14 is three decreases, nine single crochet twice, that will give you 24 stitches at the end of the round. So after round 14, we can place the safety eyes between round 10 and round 11 where the threads were, you know, the one you placed, they were uh, blue, I think, in the video, and there are four stitches between the safety eyes. If you notice that the safety eyes are not positioned like in the video or on the picture, I will show you a picture, or they are not aligned, don't hesitate to reposition re re them. It can be slightly different because, you know, of difference of tension. Once you are done, you can remove uh, the threads, so the blue threads on the video. And I will show you a picture, so it should look like that. And then I show you in the video how I place them. So you see, I counted the round and they are placed between round 10 and round 11.
Once we are done placing the eyes, we will make round 15, which is three decreases, six single crochet twice. That will give you 18 stitches at the end of the round. And I will suggest you to start stuffing the head. I always um, keep stuffing little by little until my head will be closed. So you will, you will see me in the video, I will keep stuffing the head. Then round 16, you will make three decreases, three single crochet twice. I will give you 12 stitches at the end of the round. I apologize for the quality of the picture, of the image. I don't know what happened. Why is it so bright? So I hope you can still see my decreases. you can finish stuffing the head so make sure he has a nice shape you know and don't over stuff it but don't also under stuff it just make sure he has a nice round shape Then round 17, you will make six decreases.
Voilà, so now you can leave 6 inches or 15 centimeters of thread and then cut it. Pass the thread through the loop to tie a knot and with the thread and a darning needle pass through the front loops of the six previous stitches to close the circle. And once you are done with that, you can hide the thread with the needle, then cut the excess. So now place the ears where the first threads were, you know, when you made the head, you place like the first threads, that's where the ears are going. Before sewing, you can use long wooden sticks to position them and move them if necessary. I will show you in the video. If you notice that the ears are not positioned, like in the video or on the picture, or are not aligned, don't hesitate to reposition, the, reposition them. I have a problem with this word. It can be different because of the tension of stuffing and everything. So don't make sure to move them if necessary. And then you can sew the ear with a long yarn tail and hide the end in the head. So here are some pictures to show you what it should look like. And then I will show you in the video. But I like putting like pictures also so you can pose and look.
So after the ears, we will sew the muzzle centered between and under the eyes. Long wooden sticks may be helpful to first position it and move it around if you need to. I, I use the thin gray cotton yarn and a curved darning needle to make the sewing easier and more discreet is what I recommend you to do. For a nicer result, make sure the muzzle blends in with the face by only sewing the edges and using both loops of the contour uh, stitches around the muzzle. And then also <laughs> insert a little bit of stuffing in the muzzle before sewing the muzzle closed. So here are some pictures before like the video to see what it looks like on the sides and in the middle. So now with thin black cotton yarn or acrylic yarn is up to you, just make sure it's thin enough. And the darning needle, we will embroider the eyebrows. So they are very small, no more than 0.7 inches or 1.8 cm large. And then you can hide the remaining threads in the head. So here are some pictures to show you what it, it looks like at the end. And here is the process to, to make them. I always use uh, sewing pins before to position them like that. I just have to follow the little pins.
so the, now we will make the arms, the legs and the body and they are the same for all doodos. So on the video you will see it's actually a brown yarn because I filmed it for the bear and didn't want to film it again for the hippo but don't worry about it, it's exactly the same pat pattern. Just make sure to use grey yarn for your hippo. So now we are making the arms, you will have to do it twice because we have two arms. You start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then round two will be six increases, so two single crochet in the same stitch and it will give you 12 stitches at the end of round two. Then round three is one single crochet in each stitch, so just a regular round. Then round four will be two single crochet, one decrease three times and that will give you nine stitches at the end. Round five will be three single crochet, one decrease, two single crochet, one decrease. And that will give you seven stitches at the end of the round. You can grab your lap counter and we will make seven rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. So seven rounds and after round six, so right after this round, make sure to lightly stuff the end. We will only stuff the hand, not the arm. So just the hand. I don't know if we say the end. I know it's not the end for an animal, but it made sense to me, you know. And you make a invisible finish, so cut the thread invisible finish and hide the remaining tail in the arm. Voila, and now you can do the exact same thing for the second arm. Now we will make the legs and the body, but we start with leg number one. You start with a magic ring and six single crochet in the ring. Then you will make six increases, so that will give you 12 stitches at the end of round two. Voila, then round three will be one single crochet, one increase six times and you should get, eight <laughs> you should get 18 stitches.
Round number four, two single crochet, one increase six times and you should have 24 stitches at the end of the round. Number five is four decreases, eight single crochet and four decreases and you should get 16 single crochet uh, stitches at the end of the round. this is round six you will make three decreases four single crochet and three decreases that will give you 10 stitches at the end of round six Then make a little ball of stuffing and stuff the foot. We will only stuff the foot and not the leg. So this is the last time you stuff this part. Now you can get your lap counter. We will make four rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Then, once you are done with the round, place a marker on the eighth stitch right here. So I put a pink marker so we remember. Now you can cut the yarn and make an invisible finish. So you will see I can remove the other stitch marker, it doesn't matter. So the blue one. So then we will make leg number two. So follow the exact same step as leg number one, but after round 10, don't place a marker, don't cut the yarn and keep your hook in the stitch. That's it, no invisible finish. And after that, we will be able to connect the both legs. So round 11 is where we will connect both legs. So this is leg two and you make three chain stitches right here. You can remove the stitch marker, grab leg number one and attach the last chain stitch to leg number one with one single crochet in the stitch that was uh, marked, you know, with a pink stitch, ma stitch marker right here. So you can put the place marker on the first stitch. So the single crochet you just made, this is stitch number one.
Now you should arrive to the chain. You will make one single crochet in each of the three chain stitches on one side of the chain. And you will have 13 stitches now. crocheting on the chain you will make one single crochet in each of the 10 stitches around leg number two The last part of this round is one single crochet in each of the three chain again but on the other side this time. And to make sure your round is correct, make sure you have 26 stitches at the end of this round. Now without cutting the yarn or do anything we will start making the body. So round number 12 is one single crochet in each stitch. Now uh, place a stitch marker on the loop to hold the yarn and make sure you don't unravel. So now we will invisibly close the legs. So roll the last round, so round 12 you just made, over the legs, right here. So now we will sew a line to close the end of the legs using the back loops, so the part that is inside of the stitches. You can use the yarn you are using to crochet or black cotton yarn. I use yellow yarn to make it more visible for the video, but don't make it in yellow. And if there are holes from the leg connecting as well, you can, you can sew them because it may be some holes, you know, between the legs. So make sure to close everything basically. And yes, as I say, I use a yellow yarn to make it more visible, but you don't have to use yellow yarn. Once you are done sewing, we go back to our uh, stitch and to our hook and round 13 will be 10 single crochet, 3 increases, 11 single crochet, 1 increase, 1 single crochet. And make sure to count 13 stitches at the end of this round.
voila so now we will make five rounds of one single crochet in each stitch so make sure to grab your lap counter so now round 19 is three single crochet one decrease six times and i will give you 24 stitches at the end of the round So now we will make two rounds of one single crochet in each stitch. Next round is round 22. You will make two single crochet, one decrease six times. Make sure to have 18 stitches at the end of the round. Round 23 will be one single crochet, one decrease six times. And I should give you 12 stitches at the end of this round. Place the arms on the side of the body with a sewing clips or cloth pins up to you. So I show you on the picture what it should look like. And finally, this is round 24. So you will make one slip stitch in each stitch. And when you arrive to the stitches of the arms, include them in the slip stitch so they, they attach to the body. So after this round, keep a long tail around uh, 12 inches or 30 centimeters to later sew the head to the body and then you can make an invisible finish. Now slightly stuff the body to keep it squishy. I recommend maximum 7 grams or 0.2 ounces of stuffing. So it's really not a lot. And it's also to make sure it fits the clothes. Because if, um, if the belly is too big, the raincoat, for example, will not close. Now we will make the patches. So this part is optional. You don't have to make the patches. I just think it's cute. So with a grey felt sheet, so make sure to use grey and not brown as in the video, um, cut two circles of approximately 
x approximately 1.8 inches or 4.6 cm diameter and then make a smaller circle of approximately 1.2 inches or 3 cm diameter. So you will have two big ones and one small one. And in the small one, you will draw a little heart. I will show you in the video. So in this last circle, so you can see the smallest one, I will try to make a nice heart. So I'm not the best artist ever, I just <laughs> try to make it nice and make, um, I don't know how to say, you know, like when the heart is a little bit puffy and not skinny. I don't know if you know what I mean, but I just try to make a puffy heart. and then you can cut all of them you will see I prepared a very nice transition voila <laughs> and now with a thin curved darning needle if you don't have one you can use a sewing needle and I use also thin brown cotton yarn you can sew the two big circles under each feet so I made nice nine stitches per patch and you see I made sure to pin them before to see if it's right in the middle and that it looks nice and then I will um, I will sew and also I forgot to tell you try to make them at equal, dis equal distance of each other as much as possible to make sure it's nice
voilà, so once you made the little feet, I will sew the heart on the left side of the body. And for the heart, I've made 10 stitches at equal distance of each other. Voila, and here is the result on the hippo. So I show you like this is a gray felt sheet right here under the feet and on the heart. Voila. Voilà, and now we will uh, sew the head to the body with a long tail that we left on the body. You can use a long wooden stick to keep the head straight, straight while sewing. I always do that, you will see it's really, really helpful. And once you are done, you can hide the thread in the body. And after that, your little hippo is ready. Voilà, so your little hippo is now ready. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Uh, once again, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. And as I said earlier, if you want to make a little clothes for your doudou, every pattern is on my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for watching. I see you later and take care. Bye bye.